everyone, welcome back to the Shocker Racing Garage. I'm Kim and I'm here to show you the new Pro Clip Center Mount for your new Ford Bronco. What this is, is it is a phone mount for a 2021 Bronco or newer. And it is from ProClip, which is one of our favorite companies when it comes to mounting our phones. So this mount in particular will hold your phone and it'll hold your GoPro, which is really nice. It comes with the mount to hold your phone and the piece to hold your GoPro. All right, I'm gonna open these all up and get ready for the install. As you can see, this is the mount and it has the spot for your GoPro and the spot for your phone. This is gonna be the holder for your phone, which what we love about ProClip is that, oh, these are, the screws are tightened, but when you, un, when you loosen these screws, you can adjust this to the width of your phone. And comes with the little screws and handy dandy directions. We have some more screws. I'm assuming this is for the GoPro mount because it looks like I don't see any screws in the GoPro mount, but I do see an Allen wrench, right? Here's the mount for your GoPro. All right, I'm ready for this install. I have everything unpackaged. I have my Phillips screwdriver, which is going to be my handy dandy tool for this install. And I also took a glance at the directions just to be sure on exactly where I'm going to position the phone mount inside the Bronco. So let's head inside the Bronco and get this mounted. All right, so this is the piece we're mounting first. And Pro Clip always gives us these nice pieces of adhesive on the back so that once you get this in place, you could stick it to the dash. Now we have not used the adhesive tape yet, but it just depends on when we start driving around if this mount is jostling around enough, then we might want to affix it to the dash. So I'm gonna now take this piece and these little, these little like fingers or claws are gonna go into the grate up here for your defrost. All right, so I'm gonna take these little claws and put them up here and I wanna make sure I'm right over this piece above the vent, right before it curves over the dash. Okay, so I'm gonna put these in here. So we're all clipped in up here and we're just going to push this over. And it snaps right in. <laughs> that is definitely secure, <laughs> which pretty much tells me right now that I'm not going to be using those adhes adhesive strips because I mean this thing, I, I don't think that's going to go anywhere when I'm driving. All right, you're going to need your Phillips. And I grabbed the GoPro mount because I find that it's probably gonna be easier if I mount this first so before I do the phone mount so that I'm not reaching over it. So I grabbed the GoPro mount and we were thinking that the holes we wanna use are the further back four holes closest to the windshield so that we have some room to put the GoPro on with ease over the phone mount. So I'm taking the Phillips screwdriver and I'm unscrewing this center screw inside the mount until it's loose enough where I can pull these two pieces apart so that I could screw this onto the mount with ease. All right, so I have my first screw here. I'm gonna pop it in, line it up with the hole on the mount and screw it in. Screw number two. Screw number three, and we have one more to go. And just like that, the GoPro mount is already mounted. Another reason why we love GoPro is that this insole is so simple. And there you have it. Now I'm gonna take the mount, wherever I had it, it's under all this plastic. All right, I'm gonna take the mount, make sure that I have the GoPro mount piece to the right before I screw this center part in with that screw in the center that I unscrewed to remove this. If you notice on the bottom, there's a square around the screw and you wanna match up that square to this square and obviously put the screw in that hole. As you can see, as you tighten the screw, the mount becomes more stable and secure, but it still does give you some flexibility to tilt it, which is very nice and is gonna be very convenient when filming. I'm noticing that when I tighten the screw, 
it doesn't give me as much flexibility for wiggle room, but I can loose it a little. And then just with a simple turn of the Phillips, I have some wiggle room for my GoPro camera if I wanna make adjustments forward, backward, side to side, even on an angle because it's on a ball. So it's like 360, 360 pivoting is what we have here, friends. All right, grab your GoPro and we're gonna mount it to our mount. What's nice about this is obviously you can mount your GoPro forward or backward. It doesn't matter which direction. You just whichever you prefer for what you're videoing. So I'm gonna mount it this way because that's where I want to mount it. And you just take the screw they give you, insert it back in, grab the Allen wrench that they give you and just screw it back in, tighten it up. So you still have a little wiggle room, but as you can see, it's secure. And when I'm driving, it's not gonna be flopping around. I'm gonna grab my last piece, the phone mount. Again, my Phillips, and there's another screw in here, just like on the GoPro mount, that you're gonna unscrew. And remember, this screw in here is one you can't lose, which is nice, it doesn't even come out. So you just gotta loosen it up enough so you could pop off that backing. It has the same square feature inside with the circle center for your screw that you will match up as you, after we affix this to the mount and then put this on. We'll match those two up. James and I decided we're gonna mount this in the lower section to keep our phone lower from the dash and also to give us more room in between the GoPro and the phone when we have both in operation. There you have it. We're gonna take that phone mount with that screw, line up that square to the other square and then get our phone in. and test it out. Another cool feature that we like is these two screws adjust the width of the phone mount for your phone. So if we just loosen them a little bit, which James and I usually keep these loose so that we can adjust it per phone because we never have the same phone. You don't want it too loose. This is probably too loose. We don't keep it that loose. We still want it tight to hold the phone in place while you're driving but we want to be able to adjust for our phone. All right, let's go get that iPhone. All right, I have the iPhone 11 and I'm so excited because it totally works with this iPhone mount. Even though it's designed for an iPhone 12 or 13, it's still working with, with my 11. Granted, it has a case on, maybe that's why, but I, I think it would work with or without the case. So you just slide it in and, you know, squeeze it and that's it. And it's nice and secure. I mean, this thing is not going anywhere. Let us know what you think, because I think it looks great. This is the first mount we've gotten from ProClip that has the GoPro mount and the phone mount. I think they nailed it. I mean, this is perfection. If I sit here in the driver's seat and I'm driving, I could see both screens without either one of them interfering with each other. And I can clearly like use them and turn them on and off. And there you have it, another great install and a great product from ProClip. We love their phone mounts, and I think this is about the fifth or more phone mount that we have installed in a vehicle. We can be more pleased. So thanks again, ProClip, for another fabulous product. I hope you love this video. Comment below and subscribe to our channel.